Welcome back to Larry Beatrice YouTube channel. Today's class will be learning how to make this beautiful V neck blouse with this inverted pleats at the front. It's a kimono blouse and it is very simple to make. If this is what you like to learn, kindly stay tuned to the end of this tutorial. Thank you. Okay, so to make these bodies, you will need two very important measurements. Okay, you need your measurement from your center back which is here to your wrist which is around here so for me that is 28 inches and then you need your measurement from your shoulder all the way to your half length also and for me that is 17 inches so you can naturally drop this directly on your fabric but i want to drop this on the paper so that we can see what i'm doing very well okay so now remember this is just one part so there are several ways you can actually dra draft this. You can cut it in a way that you're going, not going to be having any joining. So there's not going to be a joining on your shoulder area. So you will not have any shoulder seam. But if you're using, for if you're going to be doing that method, you need to use the fabric that is actually stretchy so that it will be easy for the person to wear it. Because if there is no zipper at the back, it may be a bit difficult because the waist is actually fitted so for me i'll be having my front and back separate because i'm going to be having a zipper to this so the measurement i need to draft this is that that 28 inches measurement that i measured from my center back to 28 inches so that's the measurement i'm working with for the width of my paper and then for the length of the paper i'll be working with my shoulder to half length measurement which is 17 inches or 18 inches if you're adding seam allowance to it so now i'll go over now and cut it because this is actually a miniature so i'm just going to be illustrating this to us how i'm going to be cutting it so you can see how i folded it i'm folding the front and back like this and then you can see that i added full allowance you can see this is the back and this is where the front is starting because i want the front to have a zipper allowance for my center back so i'm just going to fold it like this so now the first measurement that you need to take is your neckline measurement so for my neckline for the front bodies i'm making a neckline width of around three inches or three and a half inches because i don't want it to be too wide by two inches for the front for the back sorry and then three inches by seven inches for the front so for the back i'm just going to connect it like this okay using my cuff i connect it all the way to the seam to the zipper allowance for the back and then for the front i'm going to use a slightly curved part of my ruler and then connect it like that okay so i have my back neckline like this and then my front neckline like this so now the next thing i need to do now is to measure my sleeve opening so like i said this doesn't require too much measurement it's actually simple so now the next measurement i'm taking now is my waist measurement that's my half length which is from my shoulder to my half length which is in this case is 18 inches plus one inch seam allowance 17 inches plus one inch seam allowance is going to give me 18 inches so i have that point there now and then i'm going to use my ruler and make this into a straight line okay so this is actually all i need you can actually chop off the excess that we have here so that we just work with our actual measurement okay so this is actually 18 inches in length by a width of 28 inches which we got by measuring our center back to our wrist so now the next thing to do now is to measure your sleeve opening okay so before then i'm going to be slanting this shoulder by i'll do like a shoulder slope and here i'm going to be dropping it by two inches then after dropping it by two inches i'll connect it to my neck point here okay so now the next thing now is for you to do your sleeve opening. So that depends on how open you want your sleeve to be. 
so for me i'll be opening my sleeve by around 12 inches because of course it's not going to be tight so you can do 10 you can do 14 depending on what you want but 12 inches is fine for me so i'm dropping it by 12 inches here so remember we dropped it by 12 so here i want to make it into a straight line so i'll just measure what i have from the beginning and that's 14 inches so here i'm going to measure 14 inches also this is just a guide for me to draw a straight line so from there now i'll draw a straight line so that i can shape this so now the next measurement we're going to be taking now is on our half length measurement so if you want this to be tightly really fitted you can take your actual waist measurement but for me i want to add some gathers at the center front and center back area this is actually optional so instead of taking my waist measurement my waist measurement is 30 inches which if i divide by four is going to give me seven and a half i'm going to take my bust measurement here which is 36 inches divided by four and that is nine inches so i have nine inches here and then i'm going to add one inch seam allowance to that so on this leaf opening line also i'm going to measure the nine inches and the one inch seam allowance so this is just a guide then i'll make this into a straight line also so because I don't want this to be too sharp, this one to be too sharp. So here now, on this corner here, you can just go outwards by one inch, one and a half inches, and then use that as a guide to, curve, to draw a slight curve around this place. You can use your ruler or just your free hand like I'm doing. So you can see that place is no longer sharp. And then because this is not actually a paper, you can see it's supposed to be longer than this. But because we are using a paper, this is just around 17 inches or there above. But this is supposed to be actually 28 inches. You are doing it on your fabric. So now the next thing now is for you to cut this out. Then you cut out your shoulder slope also. And after cutting your shoulder slope, you cut your back neckline first. Then you cut your front neckline this shape. So when you're cutting this on your fabric, remember this is just the half cut of both the front and back. So at this point now for your front. You make sure that this part is cut on fold so you can actually note that or you just write it so that you don't forget that you need to cut this on fold and then for the set back also you need to cut two of these one for one side of the back and then one for the other side of the back so i'm just going to open this now and then go over now and cut this directly on my fabric so i just have to use this to explain because this chalk may not be so obvious okay so now we're gonna have to cut this on our fabric and you can see the length from here to here is the measurement from our center back to the wrist and then the measurement from here to here is the measurement from our shoulder to the half length and then we just curved it like this so this is what we have so this is the neckline of the front which is v and this is the back for the for the back and then you can see that they are in two pieces because like i said this is a double face fabric and it's not stretchy so we need a zipper for it to be easy to wear for the person that is going to wear it so now the only sewing that you need to do on this now is for you to take your front and back together and then join it together on the shoulder now after i've done and then you also join it together from your side all the way to your center so now once you join that now you turn it to the right side and then this is what we're going to be having so now this is just a tutorial that i did if you're going to be adding your skirt to it you need to add your skirt the skirt part before you join it on this side so that it can be easy for you but you can also join your skirt part after you have joined it on this side whichever one is fine for you but remember when i was drafting this i did not use my actual waist version because i said i want to hard gather to it so now at the center front here i'm just going to put it together now and notch the center front so this part is actually optional if you use your actual waist measurement you don't need this part okay so now once i gather the center front now the actual waist measurement that i'm working with is 30 so 30 divided by 4 is going to give me seven and a half 
So I'm going to be measuring half of this center front. And then I have around 10 inches here, which means I have to gather a bit to seven. So now from here, I'm just going to measure seven inches from my side front here, from the side here. I measure seven inches, which is seven and a half inches, sorry. 30 divided by four is seven and a half. So I'll measure seven and a half, then I have around two and a half inches left. So this two and a half inches, and this is the center front. I'm just going to place it like this. Okay, you can see this effect because that is what I want. So now I'll just hold this with a pin. So now I'll hold this with a pin and then I'll go around now and do the second one. So on this second part also, I'll measure my seven and a half inches, which is here. I just want it to be like an inverted plate. And then from there also, I'm going to pleat this to meet this. And I'll also hold this with a pin. Okay, so this is what I have. So now, once I measure this, you'll see that I have my actual waist measurement of 15 inches, which is this. So you can see, this is from one side of the front to another, and I have my actual waist. So you do the same thing on the back now, and you have to do this before you add the skirt part to it. So I'll just go over now and stitch this, and take it to the mannequin so that we'll see what we have. Okay, so this is our kimono dress as you can see the sleeve is cut together and then your sleeve opening can be bigger than this if you want and then this is the inverted plate that we place in front you can see how lovely it is looking so you can actually do a gathers here but i prefer it to be pleated so here you just add your skirt part to it i can decorate this part with a trimming or whatever it is that you want to decorate it with i hope you enjoyed making this tutorial with me if you enjoyed it let us know in the comment section like comment and subscribe to our channel and i'll see you in the next one bye